Hey guys, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for joining me. If you take a look around my channel, you'll see the word Zolaire pop up several times. I wanted to take the time today to make a little bit of an educational video to share with you more about Zolaire. This is just gonna be like an umbrella type view of Zolaire. I'm not gonna go into tons of details, um, but I do hope that you find this helpful, especially if you are starting Zolaire or considering it or the doctor has mentioned it. Hopefully this video will be helpful. So let's just jump right into it. Zolaire is a subcutaneous injection that is classified as a biologic. Subcutaneous means the injection is given into the fat layer between the skin and the muscle. An extremely basic definition of biologics from the FDA is as follows. Biologics are isolated from various natural sources such as human, animal, or microorganisms and may be produced by biotechnology methods and other cutting edge technologies. For the most part when um, I've been when I've heard about biologics, they're usually like a newer type of medication as well. Um, so they've been developed, say, within the last 50 years compared to like, say, an immunosuppressant, which has been around for hundreds. So just in perspective. Um, dose is based off of your weight and IgE. IgE levels are immunoglobulin E, which is a type of antibody. And these are formed a lot of times in patients, say, with mast cell or an allergy or asthma disorder due to allergies or like some sort of like reaction. So, so typically an individual will trial this medicine between six and 12 months. Um, they don't really know if this is a medication that an individual needs to be on, say, for a lifetime, for years, like, say, 20 years, and then they can discontinue it, or can somebody take Zolaire and then improve, say, within five years and then stop the medicine. That information is not information that we have. So who can get Zolaire? Zolaire is not the first treatment that your doctor is going to recommend for pretty much anything. It's a medication, in fact, that an individual is prescribed because they have failed so many other treatments. So the individuals who may receive Zolaire would be in the following few categories. Moderate to severe persistent asthma, of course, that is not able to be controlled by typical medicines like um, inhaled steroids. Allergies, that are year-round, so you cannot just have spring allergies and qualify for Zolaire. Um, chronic hives without a known cause, and then it is used off-label for mast cell and eczema, except for with, I know for mast cell, we need to be filed in one of the other categories that is listed. Now, I'm sure I probably could um, qualify under any of those three listed. However, I know in my chart that I am um, fi filed under the chronic hives without a known cause. That is the reason they told the drug company that I needed the medicine. So, how is Zolaire administered? Right now, you can only get Zolaire in a doctor's office and it must be administered by a medical professional. I personally get it um, administered by a nurse. I have heard about um, a self-injection, except for to me it makes no sense because you need to be able to guarantee that you're not going to have an anaphylactic reaction and if you have asthma, allergies, or chronic hives, you're already at an increased risk for anaphylactic and you cannot guarantee your doctor that you're not going to um, go anaphylactic from it. So basically if you're on the self-injection, I don't know if you're lying or like, what's up with that. There's not much information about it in America, um, so I was not able to obtain um, a lot of details on that for you guys, so I'm really sorry about that. Um, so the injections are given once every two to four weeks after your first, so after, yeah, after your first <laughs> three injections, you have to wait in the doctor's office for two long hours. Um, and this is to make sure that you don't go anaphylactic or have a severe allergic reaction. After your first initial three doses, which are like your loading doses, 
um, you are able to leave within after 30 minutes of waiting, which after waiting for two hours, 30 minutes feels amazing to be able to leave. <laughs> um, personally though, the nurse honestly only checks my arms to make sure that like I am not broken out in hives or anything. Um, I do though personally track my vitals once I leave the building in the car. I check my um, blood pressure and all that good stuff just to see how I'm doing. And then um, I am usually infusing saline, which I've told you guys before. And then throughout the day, I definitely keep an eye on my vitals. That is not standard protocol. That is not a requirement. But it's something that I just feel better doing for me. Um, most individuals who take Zoller do not see an improvement right away. And I do wish somebody would have told me that. <laughs> Some see an injection an improvement pretty quickly after a few injections while others may have to be on it for a year before seeing any improvements so let's talk side effects side effects range like crazy in my opinion with this medication so some of the side effects that I had seen in the support group um, the more common ones are bleeding blistering body aches burning, chills, cold or flu-like symptoms, um, coldness, congestion, discoloration of the skin, dryness or soreness of the throat, feelings of pressure, fever, headache, hoarseness, itching, leg pain, lumps, muscles or joint pain, numbness, pain, pain and tenderness around the eyes or cheekbones, redness, runny nose, scarring, shortness of breath or trouble breathing, which of course if you're experiencing that you need to call the doctor um, or inform them, but I know sometimes like it is harder to breathe after an injection and it's not always like an ER issue, like you don't need to go to the hospital, but you do need to let a medical professional know with some of these. Um, sore throat, soreness, stinging, and I have more over here. Stuffy or runny nose, swelling, tender glands, tenderness in general, tingling, trouble swallowing, ulceration, voice changes, and warmth. Less common side effects. Arm pain. Blistering is listed on both of these. I just realized that. Um, and then sometimes, like, your body will produce, like, um different antibodies that will bind to Zolaire and then that makes it less effective. But that's not as common. Cracked or dry scaly skin, earache, um, itching. So there are, like I said, a lot of side effects. If you want more details on the side effects, I really would encourage you to please check out some of my other Zolaire videos. I do go over kind of what I go through right before Zolaire. Um, the day of Zolaire and then the days after because I've noticed that like side effects don't well first of all side effects don't always mean that you're stopping the medication um, sometimes the benefits outweigh the negative effects the side effects um, and then like the side effects change um, based on how many injections I've had I've noticed and then like how many days out from an injection so like my side effects the first day are going to be different than day two so if you want to check that out I'll have several other videos of Zolaire linked in the description so I have a couple of additional random facts that I wanted to leave you all with. Um, cancer was seen in every one out of 200 patients when they did clinical trials for Zolaire, but there was absolutely no evidence according to a panel of cancer specialists that it was linked to Zolaire. So that's actually really interesting, but biologics in general do increase your risk for cancer. Um, but they don't really know in general with biologics, is it the biologic or is it the underlying disease? No formal drug interaction studies have been performed with Zolaire, which is dangerous. <laughs> it was approved by the FDA in 2003. I thought that one was super interesting. Move you all over a little. Zolaire is the only biologic for children ages 6 and up with uncontrolled asthma and allergies, which I'm not surprised because there are not a lot of biologics, to my knowledge, for allergies and asthma to begin with, so that fact did not really shock me. 
There is no generic available for Zoller, and it can lower your immune system, even though I know people will debate that one. It is listed on the website as lowering immune system, so that's how it made it into this video as a random fact. So I really hope that this video is one that you guys find helpful um, and interesting. If you're on Zolair, let me know in the comments. Let me know your experience. If you found this video helpful, let me know that. Um, and please, please, please consider sharing this video to help raise awareness and to educate others about Zolair. Um, make sure to subscribe and like because that helps with getting this video into YouTube's algorithm so that I can raise more awareness about Zoller. And yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you soon. Bye.